Hey everyone, this is Akash. Welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, we'll be talking about how to create and publish React NPM package. You can also add this as one of the skill in your resume. So do watch this video till the end. And if you like the video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's continue. So friends, before moving ahead, let's have a look at some key points. So these are some of the steps that we are going to perform. Uh, like first, we need to think of a package that we want to create. I am going to create a loading spinner that we use very often. Second step will be to create NPM account. I have already created NPM account and you simply need to go to the NPM site and simply need to sign up like over here. Uh, currently I have logged in, but what you can do is you can simply like, let's suppose, let's try to open it. Okay. You can simply go to this particular site and simply click on sign up and via this, we can simply create an account. Now, after that, uh, let's continue with the next steps. So let's first read the next steps. We need to run NPM in it. We need to install few packages. Basically, we need to set up our directory. Okay, so let's. Let's make one directory. Let's name it as react. Packages and inside that. Let's go into react packages first react packages. Now, now inside this first, we need to run NPM init, NPM init. Okay. Let's change the name to uh, react loading spinner, something like this, or we can also add custom so that, uh, we are not creating the same name for our package that already exists on NPM site. Yes. Keep the same version entry point. Let's keep it as it is for now. We can change it later on as well. Currently I have not uh, set up any Git repository. So ignore this author. I will give my name license ISC. Yes. Cool. So friends, I have added the dependencies and dev dependencies in our project. And don't worry, I will add this particular code in the description box. You can simply copy it from there. We have added React, React DOM as dependencies and Babel, uh, some plugins plus Webpack and the loaders as dev dependencies. Okay. So we have installed these packages. Now let's have a look at the next steps. So uh, now the next step is that we need to create the SRC folder, the source folder, and we need to add our component code in it. Okay. Then we need to make the Webpack changes. Let's do these changes. Now inside this particular react package, let's create SRC folder. And inside this SRC, what we can do, we can simply create two files app.js and app.css. Now friends inside this app.js and app.scss, basically CSS, I am going to copy the code of the spinner component. So this video is not how to write the code in react. So that's why I'm quickly going to copy the code. So this is the simple code for uh, like loading spinner. Uh, like loading spinner functional component. It is expecting like size and color, like whatever color you need for your loading spinner and a simple div and with some CSS and here goes the code for our CSS. So we have simply like added some, uh, like keyframes animation, uh, for our loader. Now, once this is done, we need to, we need to add a webpack config file so that, uh, we are able to make the bundle of our, this particular code, and we are able to publish it onto the NPM. Now let's quickly create another file that will be not inside this basically like inside, uh -huh, outside, like in the main, like webpack dot config dot JS. Cool. Now inside this, let's write the code for webpack config. So we are simply going to like export one object module dot exports equals this inside this, we are going to mention the entry path that entry path is going to SRC slash app dot JS. Our code is inside this, right? Now we can mention that mode as production. So in production mode, it is going to give us more optimized bundle and we can mention the dev server, but we are not going to run it locally. So that's why we can avoid that and we can simply add the output and the output will be path. Okay. So we need to add the path also. Let's import the path. 
const path equals require path module now yeah okay so path dot resolve dist folder we want to create the like chunk uh, like bundle inside dist and we want the name to be main.js and library target should be no oh, sorry common js now once this is done let's add another section that is module and inside this we are going to add rules section cool now let's first uh, let's first uh, write the rule that how we want uh, it to parse our JSX files. So let's add this dot JSX question mark dollar. It's a simple pattern. Now we want that the loader that it should use is Babel loader. We have already installed these uh, dependencies. We want it to exclude node modules okay and let's add options pass the presets cool so this thing is done let's copy this and let's write the same for CSS like how we want our CSS to get passed. So CSS Okay, and we are simply going to say Use Either you basically use style loader CSS loader so we are done with our webpack config so friends, uh, this is a Webpack documentation and you can read more about like library target over here, like how you want your, uh, you know, um, library to be exposed. So it has like different, different like common JS module, common JS too. So I will drop this link also in the description box and go check it out. Now we have made the Webpack changes. Now the next step is to make the changes in package.json and then publish and test the code. Okay, so let's open the package.json and let's see what are the changes that we need to make. So we have given the name custom react loading spinner, cool. Apart from this, what we can, uh, what we can do is, we can specify the entry point and, ent okay. So entry point will be uh, dist slash main.js because we have created our bundle, uh, like the name is main.js. So we want that to be the entry point over here. And apart from this, what are the files that we want to get uh, that we want to publish to the npm so that will be the entire the all the files inside the disk folder apart from this uh, inside the script section what we can do is add the start command start command will be uh, okay so start command will be webpack serve but uh, this command will not work because we have uh, not added these like you know uh, serve options and we have not added the index.html so rather we should use only webpack like this particular command because we need to make the build just ignore this and now let's add another command that will be pre-publish pre-publish only so this command means that before publishing what is the command that you want to run so we want to run this npm run build i think uh, this is it these are the changes that we want to do okay uh, now what we can do is now we can simply try to push it on npm so for that what we need to do is first do npm login so i'm already logged in it's just asking that one time password for me so i will quickly enter this so it's saying authentication successful now i can return back to home screen logged in successfully now let's do npm publish. So 
so as you can see it's running pre publish only it's running npm run build and it broke let's see why it's breaking because it's saying webpack is not recognized which means that we forgot to run npm install i copied the de dependency code right but we need to install it so that's why it's giving this error i hope this will resolve it cool now let's uh, run npm publish once more cool so friends as we can see um, our code is published successfully with this particular name and this version let's have a look let's try searching the package that we have published custom react loading spinner Doo -doo 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 -doo. okay i hope this is the name let's search let's refresh it once more mm -hmm. uh, so friends over here it's showing that it is uh, you know uh, we have published it successfully but when we are searching it it's not showing in the search section i'm just seeing why let's let's try to do same in incognito okay and let's add custom mm -hmm. i think it's it's not searching our package custom react loading spinner cool it took some time but we have got our package right and this is the command with the help of which we can successfully install it now let's let's create a small project and let's try to install it so friends uh, now let's try to test this particular package that we have created so what we can do is we can create a new react package uh, sorry new react setup or if you already have your react code setup then you can simply do npm install and i'm going to use this particular nfe project to test my code and as you can see this is how it looks now let's quickly do npm install custom react loading spinner currently currently it's not in the dependency section we can see right now it's added cool now the next step that we need to do is import loading spinner from custom react loading spinner and somewhere over here we can simply do loading spinner run this once again let's have a look cool so friends as you can see we have successfully created and published a react npm package and we have also tested it it's working fine so friends this is it for this particular video i hope you have got to learn something new and if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe and do drop a small lovely comment thank you for watching